In the disk drive world, size and capacity can mean two different things. When referring to the size of a disk drive, you'll probably be referring to how much data it can hold, or how much capacity it has. But you could also be referring to the physical size and dimensions of the drive. So we'll mention those here. In the enterprise tech world, there are two common drive sizes, which we usually refer to as form factors. These are 2.5 inch and 3.5 inches. And when we say 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch, we're talking about the diameter of the platter. Both drive sizes, 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch, can be SAS, SATA or fiber channel and can usually be most of the different RPMs available, 7.2K, 10K, 15K. However, 3.5 inch drives tend to be more popular as the lower performance but ultra high capacity drives and usually ship with a SATA interface. Whereas the 2.5 inch platters, they tend to be more popular as high performance but lower capacity drives and tend to ship with a SAS interface. But these are just general rules of thumb and not strict rules. Disk drive capacity, as in how much of your data a drive can store, can be an emotive topic. Ever wonder why a 1TB drive doesn't give you 1TB of usable capacity? And have you ever felt like you've been ripped off because of this? If you have, you're not the first. Disk drive capacity can be a complicated subject. First up, we have to contend with base 2 versus base 10. As human beings, we work with base 10, that's digits 0 through to 9. On the other hand, computers work with base 2, or binary numbering, where everything is made up of 1s or zeros. Fine, but what does that have to do with drive capacity? Well, your computer thinks a kilobyte is 1024 bytes, but most disk drive manufacturers think that a kilobyte is 1000 bytes, not 1024. No matter though, right? There's not much difference between the two, and it's certainly not worth losing any sleep over, right? Fair enough. Maybe not. At least not when we're talking about kilobytes. But it's a whole new ball game when we start talking big numbers, such as gigabytes and terabytes. If your drive manufacturer sells you a base 10 one terabyte drive, when you slap that in your computer or your storage system, you're looking at a maximum of 931 gigabytes for your money. This is no longer small change. But what do we do about this? 99% of us are guilty of mixing and matching 1000 and 1024 when we're talking about storage capacities. Well, in an attempt to bring some clarity to the situation, quite a few years ago, the International Electrotechnical Committee, better known as the IEC, came out with the Kibibyte, the Mebibyte, the Gibibyte, and the Tebibyte. These all adhere strictly to the binary. As we can see at the bottom of the slide, a kibibyte is 1024 bytes. A mebibyte is 1024 kibibytes. A gibibyte is 1024 mebibytes. And a tebibyte is 1024 gibibytes. There's none of this, well, could it be a thousand? or could it be 1,024 of a certain value? These units of measure are strict, the only downside being that not many vendors use them. So this confusion between 1,000 or 1,024 as a multiple is definitely the major cause of contribution when talking about disk drive capacities. However, there are other factors that come into play. These include things like RAID overhead, formatting overhead, and any other overheads that say a storage array or a computer requires. We'll talk about those later though. And by my reckoning, that just about sums up the important things to note about the mechanical disk drive. So one quick slide before we move on to flash and solid state storage.